a lot of people had asked me about an issue in Roblox where the model would look like it's visible on the inside, but not the outside. What's causing this issue is called backface colon. Backface culling basically makes the mesh render only on one side of its faces to a reduced lag. Uh, rendering the faces inside of the model would use up resources that most of the players would not be able to see. Sometimes when you model, however, the back faces might be flipped and end up on the outside instead of the inside. In this video, I'll show you how to fix this. Hopping over to Blender, we see that this model looks fine in basic st studio lightings in both object mode and edit mode. But if we go into edit mode and open the overlays option and turn on face orientation, we'd see that this model is completely red. Now the useful thing about face orientation is it basically tells you what face is being rendered and what isn't. The faces that are colored red are what is being hidden, and the faces that are blue, if we go inside the model here, are what will be rendered. So to fix this, what we would do is select the model, and go into edit mode, and select the entire model by clicking A. Then we'll click Alt N, and this will pull up the normals options. Now there's a whole lot of thing in here, but the only thing we're going to be using is the flip option. So let's apply flip there. And now as you can see, the entire model is blue, which means that the faces outside are being rendered properly. Now we can export this model as an FPX and let's re-import it into Roblox to see how it looks. Alrighty, we're back in Roblox Studios. The model on the right is the new model, and the model on the left was the old one. As you can see, the new one is rendered properly. We see the faces on the outside, and if we go inside here, the inside is it rendered. Now, to avoid backface culling when you're modeling, just occasionally open the face orientation tab and overlay and see if anything around your model is red where it's not supposed to be. I usually do it right before I export the model from Blender into Roblox just to make sure everything has the correct face orientation. Flipped normals isn't always bad, however. It can be used to make an effect around the model that replicates an anime or cartoon-like outline. Normals themselves actually could be used to mess around with lighting for very specific shading techniques, though that's a topic for another video. If you feel like I missed something or got some info wrong, feel free to comment about it. If you have any other issues in modeling you'd like me to make a video on, also comment about it. Alrighty then, have a great day everyone.